This is the fourth section of chapter 11 on vectors and this section is about position vectors. Now let's say I've got a vector that I want to find, a vector going from A to B. And let's say all I've got in either column notation or IJ notation, the vector A, so a vector that takes me from the origin to the point A, so I know what this vector is here, and I've got the vector that takes me from the origin to the point B. So I've got these two vectors here, and I want to work out what the vector AB is. Well, let's think about how I can get from A to B. Well, I can go from A back towards the origin. So I could do this like that. So that would be the vector negative OA, because I'm going backwards along that route. And then I could go from the origin to B, and that would be the second vector here. That would be the vector OB. So to get from A to B, what I need to do is to do negative OA plus OB. Now we could just swap them around and write this as OB minus OA. So effectively, what this is doing is it's given me this vector here, given that I know the position of A, so the position of A would be given by this vector here. How do you get from the origin to A? Well, this is basically the position of A, or point A, let's put that as a capital letter. And getting to the point B where we know the position of B. So we know the positions of points A and B. How do we get, or what's a vector that takes me from A to B? So this is why it's called position vectors. I know the position, which is given by this and this. How do we get from one position to another? Example 14, the points A and B in the diagram have coordinates 3, 4, so 3, 4 there, and 11, 2 here, respectively, it's all drawn to scale. Find in terms of I and J, part A, the position vector of A. The position vector of A, we write as OA. How do we get from the origin to that point? That's called the position vector of that point. So to get from uh, the origin to that point, we're going to go 3 across and 4 up. Let's find a coordinate. In IJ, no quotation, it'd be 3i, 3 across, and 4 up, 4j. Part B, the position vector of B. So how do we get from point uh, the origin to point B? So we write that as OB. So that's 11 across and 2 up. We see that from the coordinate. So that'd be 11i plus 2j. And then part C, the vector A, B. Okay, so basically how do we get from A to B? So to get from A to B, we know from what I showed you previously, this would be OB uh, minus OA, or we can sort of do it from scratch and say, right, we're going from A to O. So that's negative OA plus OB. So that's the same as what we said before, OB minus OA. Now we've got both of these. OB is 11i plus 2j. And then we're subtracting A, which is 3i plus 4j. And then that will become 11 minus 3, which is 8i and then two minus four, which is minus two j. Now there is another way of doing it. We could say, right, what's the jump between point A and point B? So this is a uh, alternative way of doing this. And I use um, jumps. So the vector from A to B is effectively a jump from points A to B. And I'm saying to myself, what's the jump from A, point A, to point B. 
Now I can see that on this on this diagram that I can just count the squares, couldn't I? And I would get eight across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two down minus two. But what if I didn't have the diagram? Well, I can look at what the coordinate or point A is and then look at point B. So let's do that. So point A is 3i plus 4j and point B is 11i plus 2j. And I'm saying to myself, what's the jump from here? This one to this one, the jump from A to B. Well, here that goes up by 8, the i part, and the j part goes down by 2. So another way of working out a to b, the jump from a to b, well, the i part goes up by 8. And the j part goes down by 2. 8 across, 2 down. So this is a slightly different way of working out the same type of problem. Example 15, OA equals 5i minus 2j, AB equals 3i plus 4j. Find the position vector of B. Okay, so to, just to help, I'm just going to do a sketch. You don't have to, but let's just uh, draw this out so we've got some sort of idea of what's going on. So we've got how to get from the origin to point A, and that's five across two down. So this is not to scale or anything. Here's the origin, here's point A, O to A is five across two down. So this is five, and this is negative two. We've then got the vector A to B. To get from the point A to point B, we're gonna go three across and four up. So from here, this point here, I'm gonna go three across and four up and uh, draw that uh, something like this. Again, it's not to scale. This is the point B and that vector is 3i plus 4j, 3 across and 4 up. Now this question is asking us to find this vector, the position vector of B, basically OB. If we find OB, we found the position of B. Now we can just use the fact that if we use different routes to get to the same place, it's the same vector. So to get from O to B, and I can see this clearly on the diagram, it's the same as going from O to A, which I know, and then from A to B, which I know. So OB is equal to OA, which is 5i minus 2j, plus AB, which is 3i plus 4j. So 3i plus 5i gives us 8i, minus 2j plus 4j gives me plus 2j. So this is the position of B. OB is the position of B. And part B, find the exact value of the modulus, the length of the vector OB in simplified third form. So the length of OB, the modulus of OB, is equal to doing Pythagoras on the 8 and the 2 of this. So that would be the square root of 8 squared plus 2 squared. So that's the square root of 64 plus 4, which is root 68. Now 68 is the same as 4 times 17. Now you can do your calculator or use your calculator to get that. So that's root 4, root 17. So that would be 2 root 17, but you don't need to do that. Just type that in on your calculator to get the answer. So you should now be able to do exercise 11D on pages 243 to 244 of the textbook.